Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're just going to take a quick look at how you can enhance your designs or your logos um, that you're creating in Adobe Illustrator using the mobile application. So in this case we're going to be using Adobe Draw, formerly known as Adobe Ideas. So Adobe Draw, I have it running on my iPad and we're going to take a look at how we can integrate it into this existing drawing that I have here in Illustrator. Now, Many of you know I'm not an artist. We're going to pretend I'm an artist today, um, but I, at least I can teach you because you are an artist or you are a designer how these tools actually work and you'll make them look better. So in this case, we have uh, some text. This is a Typekit desktop font, the word artist. And here I can tell you which one it is real quick. We'll grab our type tool. There it is. And we'll hover over this. And this is the Graf Grafalita script medium so you can grab that on typekit if you want this paintbrush actually came from the uh, creative cloud market assets so if you search for brush you'll be able to grab this brush and uh, sync it to your creative cloud libraries and bring it in so i've done all that already i've got my logo started in illustrator just on a blank document with those two elements and now what i want to do is i want to add some custom pressure sensitive strokes that while if I have a Wacom tablet I can do it but if I don't I can just do it on my iPad with Adobe Ink. I have Adobe Ink the stylus here which is pressure sensitive and I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, Adobe Draw. Now when you first bring Adobe Draw up of course you won't have any projects and it will simply be sitting on the community drawings. Uh, of course, uh, after you sign in with your Adobe ID. So let me show you where it is. Here it is, Adobe Draw. We'll go ahead and launch it. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, tell it to create a new project. Oops, told it one too many. Let's go ahead and do that. Delete that one. And here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this project. And of course, I have the ability to uh, choose my different brush or pens to work with. I have the ability to go in, and of course that's an eraser, so I can choose whichever one I want. Once I choose the brush that I want to work with, I can choose the size of that brush just by dragging up or down. And I can also uh, choose the opacity, so I can make it less or more opaque. And I have the ability to choose a color, so I'm going to start off with black. And we even have layers. So we're going to go ahead and create a different layer to work on. And um, you can even bring in a photo layer. So if, you, if you're like me and you just want to trace over the top of a photo, you can do it that way. All right, so we have our layers. We have everything in place. I'm just going to take Adobe Ink on the iPad screen. I'm going to start off with a light stroke and then thicken it up as I get in the middle and then thin it out as I go across. So here we go. First attempt. And we're just going to start out less, more, less to less. Okay. Not bad, but let's undo that two finger swipe backwards to undo. Let's try it again and more of a seamless stroke. Less pausing. Here we go. Okay. And one more time. One more try. I'm kind of picky about this one. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So we got our stroke. We got it in place. It's kind of light gray instead of black because of the opacity. Now we're going to go ahead and pick our color. We have the ability to work with Adobe Color and our color themes. Uh, I brought in some color themes already, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this kind of orange color. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dial that one in. By the way, we can control it more. We can get exactly the kind of orange we want. I want it to be a little bit darker than the orange that we're working with on screen. Uh, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the layer and switch to the other draw layer. So again, in this application, we can work in layers. And I'm going to go back the other way. And there's my other stroke. Now at this point, I could be okay with this. I could leave it the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and switch colors one more time. And we're just going to go ahead and use the same kind of color. Maybe a little bit towards the reds there. And we're just going to go ahead and sign. So this is... And actually, that's a bad signature. Let's do our T. And that's a bad signature. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, I'm batting a thousand here. Let's try one more time. There we go. And there we go. Terry White. All right, so now you may or may not want that. But anyway, we've got this uh, ready to go. So now, how do I get it from my iPad over to Illustrator? Now, keep in mind, these are two separate devices. They're not connected to each other for the purpose of data syncing. Uh, and I could be out on the road doing this logo for my you know, artist that's working back at, at the shop. So how do I get this over? Well, I could save it you know, as an image on my camera roll and text it over but then it's not or email it over but then it's not it loses all the layers and everything or I could just go to the share menu where I've got the ability not only to copy the image to Creative Cloud but more importantly send it over to Illustrator so if I say send to Illustrator it will sync and then once that sync has happened it will sync it up to Creative Cloud down to my computer's running Creative Cloud, and then open it in Illustrator on my computer. Let's give it a second to do that. And as you can see, it just popped open in Illustrator. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't know that I would want this on the existing document. So it, op it synced it as a new document and then opened it in Illustrator. But as you can see, it even opened it with the layers intact. So I have the ability to turn the layers off and on. I have the ability to work with the individual vectors. So if I wanted to smooth them out or work on them some more, I could. And of course, I have the ability to select all of this, copy it, head over to my logo design, and paste it in. And of course, from there, we can scale it because it is vector. So we're not going to lose anything. Scale it down. Oops. There we go. Scale it down. Let's do that one more time. There we go and away we go so i have my new artist logo and i think it would probably look better if the artist the terry white was on top okay so there you have it moving from adobe draw over to illustrator using adobe ink for pressure sensitivity on the ipad uh, the ability to work in vector format the ability to work in layers and bring those layers over to Illustrator. And we have our vector drawing that we can continue to work on here on the desktop. Smooth out those uh, points so we don't have as many using the Smooth tool. And um, refine that signature maybe a little bit better as well. Or go back to the uh, Adobe Draw on the iPad and continue to work. But there you have it, working with Adobe Draw, sending over to Illustrator or sending to Photoshop or copying to Creative Cloud so that I have access to it in my uh, on my desktop computer starting with mobile finishing the design on the desktop that's it for this episode of adobe creative cloud tv thanks for watching and take care